Windows File Explorer. You've got pictures on your PC and you want to know how to use File Explorer to manage your photo collection. I don't know if Windows File Explorer is the easiest or the best way to manage your pictures, but definitely lots of people use it. So let's dive in and learn a little bit more about Windows File Explorer and how you can better organize your pictures with it. I'm a photo estate planner with Pixology, and we're your go-to experts in photo saving apps, tools, and software. This is the first in a series of videos where I explain photo organizing or photo management options. Now, Windows File Explorer is not my first go-to place, but there's a lot of things that can help you manage your pictures just using what comes already installed on your PC. If you want to know about other photo management options, you can definitely click on the link above where I reviewed, well, let's say I overviewed 20 other ideas where you can organize your pictures. Some might be less useful and some might be helpful for you. But first, we're going to dive into Windows File Explorer here. All right, a little background on managing your digital photos. There are two things that I really hope you'll take from this. One is you should have one digital home for all your pictures, all right? When you have one digital home, it's easy to back them up and you're not trying to figure out where in the world a particular picture is. So one digital home. The second thing that's so important is you really need to work with your photos on a routine basis, monthly for sure, and weekly if possible because it, it helps you remember what you were doing before with your pictures and kind of the tricks of the program become easier when you use it more often. It's just like any computer program or app on your phone. Windows File Explorer, I, like I said, a lot of people use this program. All right, let's dive in to Windows File Explorer. We are looking at the Windows File Explorer and I'm in a folder called MB Demo File Family Photo Collection. Let me explain a little bit about the layout of File Explorer here. On the left hand side, we have what's called the navigation pane. It shows you everything that's connected to your computer. And if I go up on the top row here, I can see navigation pane. Sometimes you want to turn it off so you can view more of your pictures. And sometimes it's not there and you want it on. So you click navigation pane and it shows up. This is under the view tab in File Explorer. All right, then the main area here is what shows you your folders and files. Remember, folders hold files. Files can be documents, photos, and so much more. I want to show you, you can have another pane on the right side. You can choose between preview pane, which I'm in the top left corner here, which will actually give you a preview of whatever it is you have selected. If you choose details pane, you will be able to see the various details of your file as well. This details, this is the metadata of your photo. When you have a photo selected, it's telling you the date it was taken and it's got tags and comments. Those are the three most important pieces of metadata I can think of for our purposes. But you can see it also shows you what camera used to take it and so much more. All right, now sometimes in this view, you're looking at icons and you might want to change how you're looking at your folders and files. This area here in the top row is called the layout options. You can see you can click extra large icons, large icons, medium icons, which is not helpful at all. Uh, and a couple others. I go back from large icons to details quite often. In the details pane, you can actually get a lot of information at a glance. And if you see a column here that you'd like to have, but it's not showing up on your computer, you can right click across what I call the label bar. 
and adding like date taken can be really helpful here too. So you see down this, this column of information, the dates taken. I'm gonna go back to the large icon view. Now, I'm going to go over Windows File Explorer in the same format that I'll use with the other photo management reviews I do. We're gonna look at four essentials I think a photo management program should have, and then we'll talk about the other benefits or features the program might have that will be useful. First of all, you want to be able to organize by folders or albums. Clearly, Windows File Explorer meets that. You can make folders easily. Looking at our screen, if we want to make a new folder, we're going to click the Home tab and then click New Folder. And a new folder will pop up and then you can enter the name. And I'm going to do 2006 um, photos. So the formula is year, month, date, description. And uh, you can use it in many different, you know, variations. So I've made the folder 2006. Remember we hit the home tab and then clicked new folder. You can also use your right click on your mouse to create a new folder as well like this. Alright, so it's just putting another folder in there and we'll just do 2008 photos. Alright. So folders are easy, and then moving pictures into the folders can be pretty easy too. Like right here, I can see in the name of these pictures, 2006, these were all 2006 pictures. Click the first picture, hold the shift key down, and then click the last picture you wanna select, and it selects everything in between. So these 2006 photos, I'm gonna just drag into 2006 photos. Pretty darn easy. I could go to my details view and see here we have this date taken column. Now what's funny is, is these aren't in order. They're in order alphabetically. They're not in order by date. Well I need them in order by date. So I'm going to click date taken and now my pictures are all in chronological order. And I'm gonna go find those 2000, what, what folder are we working with? <laughs> 2006 photos. So I scroll down and now, now my 2006 photos are all the way down here. So I'd have to select them and drag them up. There's an easier way to do this. Let's make two windows. So in order to get a second one, you're gonna hover over the Windows File Explorer icon, right click, and do File Explorer, or New Window, sometimes it'll say New Window. You just kinda have to futz with making the window smaller and positioning it, and we'll do that. The details pane is kind of annoying, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna go find those 2006 photos, which there weren't many, there's five. And when I go and find my pictures folder that I wanna move them to, remember, I created the 2006 folder. I can just drag these pictures right over into 2006 photos. Very helpful. So this is how you can move pictures over from the devices to your computer. If you look on my navigation pane, I have USB drive D and I've got something called the Riley family photos. And in here you can see I have 53 folders organized chronologically and you can tell the naming mechanism has been used here. So like I see this 1960-06-04, that's the June 4th wedding, and I'm going to move it over to my family photo collection because I'm trying to bring all the pictures to one place that matter. Now this was just an example. Let's just hit the refresh button here. 
So you can see the 1960 wedding photos are now in my family photo collection. Windows File Explorer has folders, perfect. The second thing that a photo management program must have is the ability to edit metadata. We kind of talked about that already and I'm gonna just show you how to edit this information in the Windows File Explorer. And remember, we, we could use the details pane right now, so I'm gonna go to View, click Details, and there's the metadata on the right side. This date has already been changed because I have been proactive on some of my pictures, but let's say that it was wrong and I wanted this to say 1935. You just change it right in the date taken field of your metadata. And then you can click save and I could add comments here, grandma with my, whoops, with my dad and you click save. Now your metadata is saved right on your picture. So wherever you copy the photo to, the metadata will travel with it. The other way you can get to your metadata is by right clicking on the picture and selecting properties and then details. And then you can actually go through and do a lot more, see a lot more information on your picture. Some people will use the rating, but that rating doesn't necessarily transfer to other programs, so not as useful. The third thing that your photo management solution should do is it should have a backup option that's easy, that's almost where you don't have to think about it ever, it just is happening automatically. Now, Windows File Explorer doesn't necessarily have that in its features, but Windows does have a backup option in its settings, and if you have an external hard drive connected to your computer, the, you can set it to back up your whole computer or certain files from your computer daily. And the fourth thing is, is you've got to really like using the interface. I call this, is it pretty? <laughs> because you want to enjoy looking at your pictures. You got to use this fairly often. So is Windows File Explorer pretty? No, I hate working with my pictures in here. This is, it looks like such old technology. There's so many better ways to look at your photos. So I don't think it's pretty and I get a, it gets a thumbs down for me on that. So there are some helpful features that photo management programs can have. And let's just see how Windows File Explorer compares on this level. Being able to edit the pictures. You really cannot edit the picture in File Explorer. If you double click the picture, it will launch the Photos app on your PC, and then you can edit the picture there. You can make slideshows, but it's happening outside of File Explorer. Here you can see Edit and Create. So I don't think that this is ideal. You want to be able to edit your pictures right in the program. So I'm going to close this and then sharing pictures is a little harder. If, if you've used um, Apple products, sharing is really easy because it integrates with your whole Apple system. But here on a PC, you've got share with Skype and then you've got share and it tries to launch your contacts. Sharing's not easy with Windows File Explorer other than copying it onto a jump drive and passing it on to your family. Another feature that's nice in a program is facial and object recognition. So the ability to recognize faces and that is not available in Windows File Explorer. The last thing that's helpful is to be able to identify duplicates and Windows will recognize exact duplicates. You've probably gotten the warning sign that shows uh, you have a, a copy, which one do you want to keep? But Windows File Explorer cannot identify pictures that are similar or duplicate if they don't have the same file name. So what do you think? Is Windows File Explorer a good solution? There's definitely a lot of pros to it and it's free, so that's good. Put some comments below on what you think and if you use it, we'd love to hear from you. If you wanna know about the upcoming reviews on other photo management software, definitely hit subscribe so you can be alerted when we post a new video. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you the next time.